Hi, welcome to our Melis video part 3. This is basically just the final part where it's going to be discussing basically what things were bought that might be of interest to people, a few tips. Yeah, especially shopping tips. Of course. Um, so, where do we start? Where would you like to start? Let's start with masks. Okay. Yours first? Yeah, sure. Okay. Just bring that to the screen. But closer because I can't see it. The view from it. Put it on the mound. There you go. So, basically, this is the mask I bought made in Italy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's actually a very important mark on those masks because this is how you can tell the difference because uh, if, if you're in Venice and if you want to buy a mask never ever do that on markets or corners go to actual shops Essentially brick and mortar Yeah, because the, the ones you could buy in market of cheap is, are pretty average ones made in China <laughs> most of the cases so yeah, if you if if you want to buy a mask, please go to proper shops and they might assist you. And another useful tip regarding masks would be that I would definitely suggest you trying them on first to see how the specific mask fits on just on your face, because they can be very different. The like bigger ones, smaller ones, male ones, female ones, and every and everybody's got different head, obviously. So. Yes, the male and female ones are different when you're buying one if you want to actually wear it or participate in the uh, in the celebrations there as well. Uh, yeah. The difference is the lips, if you want to just show that close up yeah. if you can. The lips here are fuller, whereas the male ones are very thin. If you can probably see. I'll just bring that up closer. Full lips. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sometimes eyes are a big giveaway as well. Well, I only got a half one. Just that. Ah. You can see all the patterns in that. There are lots of stores. They're everywhere. So shop around. And I find we found that the main prices were a lot more higher in the centre. What was it, San Marco? Yeah, near to San Marco Square. Yeah, so shop around on the outskirts of that because they tend to be a bit cheaper. The also the other thing is is that on some stores offer a discount, I think it was 30%. Oh, I'm not sure on that. 20-30% basically. Um, that's they can they can kind of reduce the tax if you're a tourist or something. Um, we didn't claim that, uh, we didn't really have time, but you can claim it back at certain places. So if you're purchasing one, make sh make sure to ask where you're going to get that. So as we were walking um, around, we basically came across a couple of hat shops. I think they were actually um, related. Related, yes. Um, and they they sold various hats like uh, top hats, bowl hats, the small one, the small side hats that ladies wear, and tricorns. And Yay! as you can see, <laughs> yeah, this is officially my fa most favorite hat now. Just uh, show details if you can. Yeah, of course. Nailed it. Oh. Yeah. It's probably easy enough to be off. <laughs> That's better, because you might see the veil. So essentially, Um, yeah, so not being outdone. Well, I am outdone because it's plain as fuk. I also purchased one as well because I just love tripods. So this one's plain. Um, 
But this you one, can do it up yourself if you're on a budget. I mean, um, ready hats, they were already very expensive, I've got to admit. Hats like this, tricorns with all the feathers and all were basically 190 euros. But uh, similar style top hats with feathers and decorations on them were 150 euros. But you can buy plain, plain ones pretty cheap and do them up like you want. Yeah, so I'm probably going to do this one up myself. Um, this one was 30 euros. So, yeah, not bad. So if you're on a budget, you can still just purchase a plain hat and do it up yourself later. As we were walking around, we came across a few small touristy souvenir shops and we purchased yeah. a few other things. They seem to have a love of cats and as such we love cats. So they did these lovely cats, Aristor aristocracy Arist cats? Aristocratical <laughs> cats, royal cats. And also this one. So that's a very royal horse. Uh, what else did we buy? Oh, I also got some bits and bobs, such as a brooch, which is made like a Venetian mask, and I also got matching earrings, just made from a different material. I seem to be invaded. So, yeah. Pac-Fans has joined the party. Hey! Um, and we also got some fridge magnet mask shaped souvenirs. You want to show them? Yep. They're just basically souvenirs we're going to give to our friends and family. I think that's a fridge magnet. They all are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this one. How did I Uh, is any other different one? We're being invaded by a cat. Yeah, one uh, of our three cats. And, this bottle opener. Yes, you love it too. Good. Um, and last but not least, um, there's also the flag which we seem to have forgotten. So I wanted a big one basically to put up, because um, I like flags. And therefore, because, you know, I'm weird. And there's this, uh, the ancient republic, ancient, the old republic of Venice flag. So um, if you're planning to go to Venice, some quick tips. Whilst you're there, I'd say GPS is a must for you on your phone, so make sure you have a good plan whilst you go. The place is a huge maze, the buildings are very high, so it's going to be high, hard to find uh, landmarks. And everything you, looks the same as well, just canals, small streets, small narrow streets, uh, churchyards. You'll keep walking around and you'll come into an open square and there'll be a church and you'll be like, oh I've been here before, and you haven't, that's the thing, they're very similar. Um, well that's, yes, uh, you'll, you'll, basically come across, you'll be walking along a narrow path and then you'll just be at the sea or at a, at a canal. Um, what else? Um, I would also suggest try bargaining, especially at markets and small shops, not too fancy shops obviously, but definitely try bargaining. You might, you might not be lucky, but hey, you might be lucky. So just Got try it out, definitely don't hesitate, try it out. Uh, what else? Um, what's the other one? I need to edit this bit out. Oh, footwear. I went in New Rocks. Don't go in New Rocks. I thought I'd pa pack some skate shoes or something to wear whilst I was there. And I took them out. I thought I'd be fine in them. You will be walking around a lot. Unless you want to pay to take um, the water taxi. water taxi to places. We didn't use it because everywhere looked within walking distance from where we were. It took a bit longer than it says on Google Maps. Uh, it says like 20 minutes usually from where we were to get to the main square. It took us about half an hour to 40 minutes actually. And bear in mind, you've got to walk back. I, <laughs> my feet hurt for a week after. Um, that's the other thing. Uh, oh, the 
gondola rides, they cost 80 euros for about half an hour. So if you want to do it, be sure to save, really. Um, uh, definitely don't buy gondola rides off those uh, places who offer tickets for tourists because uh, they might charge you around 50 euros for a shared gondola ride and that's gonna be like 50 euros per person and you would have to share with other people and you won't even get to choose where exactly you're gonna sit in the gondola but we got a ride just for ourselves so no other people involved for 80 euros so it's like 40 euros cheap so in the end of the day that worked as out cheaper for the next part of the video, um, I managed to film a lot of the gondola ride. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you soon. Bye!
If you can, like and subscribe if you like what we do, and we'll hopefully see you next time.